What's up YouTube? Casual Yugi Stuff here with Oscar and Joe in the back. We're going to be going to uh, Stuart's house today and showing off his collection. He's got some insane cards, really rare, and I cannot wait to show you guys what he's got. Almost there guys, eight minutes away. We have arrived guys, we're just waiting for Stuart and then we'll get inside and show you what's in his collection. I actually don't know, I haven't got an idea. Oscar, what are you expecting today? Yu-Gi-Oh. Some form of Yu-Gi-Oh, one way or another. <laughs> I, we have no idea. Hopefully Stuart comes soon and we'll um, get into it. So guys, we've made it to Stuart's house. How are you doing, Stuart? Are you okay? Yes, very well, thank you. I'm really thank happy you. to meet you, my friend. It's been, what, like at least almost a year. That we've, we've been trying been... to organise this for about six months yeah, I mean, and yeah. uh, life has been happening. Life got in the way. Um, so we're finally here. <laughs> but it's nice to finally uh, welcome you to uh, my house, which is... Um, it's insane. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. yeah. It's, um, I, I've, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh since the days of uh, 2006 uh, onwards, basically. Um, and I was uh, I was very very um, fastidious about condition. I really cared about condition of my card. So um, I was man. an adult collector, um, and I wasn't thinking that they were going to be you know huge value in the future. I just you know I'm very anal when it comes to organising sets and you know getting all of the cards in, in order. So I wanted to preserve something and have a collection for when I was older, something that I could pass down to my kids. And then the value started creeping up um, and I was thinking maybe I should think about selling these at some point. And then obviously we hit lockdown and values went into Warbit. Um, and so um, I've been you know, putting some feelers out in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Mm. I think the time is right to um, potentially look to sell the collection. It's really um, yeah. And it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a big collection. Um, it's, I've got pretty much everything up to, um, up to Gladiator's Assault uh, and you know, when it started going into 5Ds because um, duelists on bikes didn't really, <laughs> didn't, didn't really. Didn't you think that was stupid? I think at the as time, a kid, yes. As, as a kid, you thought it was cool. Yes. But then you kind of, in hindsight, you kind of. Correct. Like, it's a bit, how do they when they are I they agree. able to steer the bike? It is definitely a bit silly. Auto drive and autopilot. That's that, when yeah. I was I, I, as an adult, and Good I'm like, point, I'm actually. watching an anime where kids are running around, riding around on bikes while playing a card game, and I'm. Am I okay with this? True, Probably true. not. So I got yeah. out around about Crossroads of Chaos, um, the so. Duelist Genesis. Um, I bought loads of tins because um, I remember there was a a bookshop a bookshop that was shutting down and they had loads of tins wow. and I bought up hoovered up all of the tins that they had and you could only get first edition Duelist Genesis smart man um, and cross in the, the tins as well yeah it wasn't that I was I was smart I was just kind of thinking well I want I only collected first edition because I thought I want first edition cards and I was I was really annoyed that I just couldn't get a first edition booster box of Duelist Genesis and. Crossroads of Chaos. So yeah. when this shop went out of business, I just hoovered up all the stock and started wow. opening. Um, this was back in 2000. I did have a first edition Blue Eyes, um, sorry, Black Eye, Black Rose Dragon, um, back 2008. Yeah, it goes rare. Um, and I sold it on uh, on Amazon for 50 quid. Oh my god! That's about that's about five six years ago. We I all like, had I got 50 regret, quid for that. Wow! <laughs> What's you know? It's like, no. We're all dying inside, but uh, no, that's just how it is. But it? I've got plenty. I've got plenty more. Um, so I think <laughs> today is all about having a look at the collection. Um, hopefully, you know, through your your channel. Yeah, absolutely. Um, through your customers, there might be some people that are interested. If you're interested, for sure, um, for sure, go through this guy, um, and we'll 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 work something out. But over the course of the next couple of years, I've got a decision to make, and the decision, you know, ask the community really, because I'm I'm I may be an old school collector, but I don't know what's best for the future. I have loads of mint condition cards that I just put into sleeves as soon as I acquired them. And we will I was, be showing them all. Today, I guys. stuck them in a binder for literally twenty years, and I've mm -hmm. got a decision to make as, as to whether I actually um, sell them raw. Uh, or get some money and get them graded. Uh, right. But the trouble is, the cards that I've got, you know, I'd have to spend someone, I'd have to spend fifteen hundred pounds, um, just for that. somebody's subjective opinion, correct? On on what what I what know. condition that card is, yeah. so that the price can then go up to like ten grand. Um, mm. But some of the cards that I've got, like first edition Dark Magician Girl, you know, completely mint. Um, it does see them. it does warrant that. Um, mm. So I don't know what to do, but I, I'm I'm thinking that you know I'll be selling a few to get some money to start grading some of the the more higher end stuff. 
I think that's a really good idea to do it. Of course, you have to make a decision when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! and collectibles and trading cards that do I keep raw, do I grade, do I sell raw, do it's I It's a really difficult sell? decision. I, I, think, I think it is a clear decision once you know the condition of the cards are going to get the highest grades possible. And yeah. you know, here today, I'd love to help you as a you can consultative sell, approach. You, and see, you like, can help with that. Yeah, absolutely. We'll go through. He's got stacks and stacks of binders here, guys, which we will show you. Complete sets, three sets. I can even see the manga books there. Do you want to pick one up? Oh uh, yeah, just, yeah. Um, I just that caught my eye as I was speaking. Well, this is um yeah, this is um this is when this is the manga when it was actually before it became one through seven. Is that the complete? Um, uh, yeah, it's the it's the original world. manga where they had like scorpions and, and shoes and death games and yeah, like that yes, and, and yes, no yes, tear yes, going definitely. the power of friendship because yes. that really <laughs> so after about five years of that the the, the enemy was really good and the, the jewels are really good even though they ignored the rules and I used oh, to yeah, like yeah, the because I I was a fan of like um, oh, yeah, Japanese of animation. But Taya just Taya. after about four seasons, it was just like shut up. I know, just just stop. I know, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's too much. But this is. this is um yeah this is the, the original. Nice. Um, I've never actually held one of these books before. Uh, I think they're quite old vintage now. And I'm sure you're aware of the passing of Katsuki. Tanabashi, yes, yeah, which is yeah, absolutely. Completely tragic news. I I I I, I, I was really well. um we we lost a lot of good people this year. Anyway, Stuart, we also got some other sealed items. There's loads more other than Yu-Gi that we'll show you. We'll do a room <laughs> tour and everything. And um, I'm just really excited to get into the uh, the cards now, guys. And uh, thanks for the little introduction, Stuart. It's no really problem. good to understand more about you as a collector, as a duelist back in the day, dueling. Yeah. We actually uh, used to perhaps even cross paths back in we the day. Probably in have, the local area. We, we probably have. We're really local have. to each other, guys. So, so Guilford and Reading, yeah. and, and I used to go to local tournaments. So, But you would have been... Yeah, Six I would have been, been about old. seven or eight years old, and you were probably around, yeah, 1920. Yeah. <laughs> but still, yeah. it's uh, it's nice. It's nice to reminisce. And guys, today, let's get straight into it. Stuart, are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready, my friend. Let's keep it casual. It's like when, you, when you've got, like, yeah, I must put everything in order, you know. Mm. And, and unfortunately, well, what that's done is, is and has made me, you know, have a collection that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. No, because it's, it's like, sort of I must have every card, I must have every rare. Yeah, you probably have You missed one, you're like, I need that Yeah, absolutely, to fill the gap. And it's, I used to spend, like, ages like sorting out cards and putting in you know different rarities and mm. stuff and and you know ultimately when you've got a mindset like that you you know 20 years down the line you've got a collection that's Beautiful. absolutely yeah. incredible um so uh it helps <laughs> beautiful stuff here i'm just showing off some of the albums and this room here so we've got it on camera mm -hmm. the doctor who stuff as well beautiful that's all um all Street Fighter up there. So all, all, I'm a, a massive uh, Street Fighter and Tekken player. I don't know if you fair. you guys play Tekken or Street Fighter. I used to. You, I have yeah, played. Yeah. 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 I'm a, I'm a, on the I used to play on the Xbox really actually. So I, I used to be. Um, Beautiful. I'm a crazy taxi world champion on Dreamcast. So um, I've got world records for that. But I used to play. Oh, yeah, PS One yeah. games here. Wow, I didn't even see I've got these. Some rare stuff there. That's the. Are thing. they sealed? Um, mm -hmm. uh, the Dreamcast are all sealed. Oh, Can God. Cannon Spike and all that kind of stuff. They're all sealed. My favourite game back in the day was Rayman. Yeah. Absolutely. I love, love Rayman. Rayman. Rayman's cool. Shame the rabbits came in. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, Beautiful. Of, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, that's not fun, guys. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Whatever happened. <laughs> it's not really a duet, just like one person doing his thing. Yeah, yeah, guy. I know. And, mm. and, and, but the thing is, you, you need to have a degree in mathematics to understand what the yeah. hell is going on. Yeah, You're sitting there kind yeah. of going, so and you just have to, you just have to go. Thing, yeah. yeah, it's just like, and then this happens, and this happens, and this happens in the graveyard. And, and if if you've been away from the meta for a considerable period of time, you cannot go to Thorn. Have you tried mm. Whereas in the, your weakening? No, I I I I haven't um, investigated any Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Dual links or anything like that for a long, a long time. What I just do is good, is in like it's old school and it, like, it's like the same format, mm -hmm. but it kind of like it helps you know what you can do at the time. Because mm. like when, when, when the after event, it will tell you. Just gone through some commons, guys, and look at this beautiful pocket guide we have here. Um, this tin here essentially just had loads of commons from Stuart's tins that he'd opened, and there's some first edition, a mixture of European cards um, as well as. Uh, North American, and the yeah. rarest card we came across was a uh, Barra statue of the to storm winds, which is about three quid. And of course, Elemental Hero Neos is nice. I'm, I was, I'm, I'm so anal when it comes to condition. Okay, here we go. That's the best binder. This is the best binder. Is it really? We're starting is, off with the best. The best okay. binder. Wow. Yeah, it's, as you can it's see, the promo binder. Wow. Okay, let's just have a little step back, guys. So we can see a mechanical chaser. Um, am I happy to take stuff out of here? Yeah, 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 okay. Course. Just be careful. Oh, of course, absolutely. I have hopefully enough. Resilience in my hands to, to not obviously damage anything, but uh, no, that's fine. But the let's take out the chaser, chaser. Is, um, is literally the only one that's got a little nick in it. But no, really, 
uh, generally near mint. But uh, you know, it gives you an example, uh, an indication of my standards because you'll see that it's there's not much wrong with it. I won't take it out of the sleeve. I will just keep it in here. Well, actually, you, you can do because I, I'd be interested to see your 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 sure. perspective on condition. Beautiful you know? sleeve as well. I know. Uh... These sleeves, these old school Ultra Pro sleeves, are actually no really sought after, actually. Mm. I know somebody in the community who's very keen on them. Okay, I can see the Nick. This is a European copy, mm -hmm. as you can see with the, with the E, and the Nick's probably... It's on the, uh, I, on the I left side, on the right? Back, yeah, it's on, it's on the back. This there's, is well, nice. There's one on the back, but it's not bad. It's not a bad card, but... Um... It's beautiful. It's such a... It's the first 1850 card, right? Uh, um, yes, that's that was the first one. Look at that. Okay, there's the Nick, yeah, on the... Uh, that, do you know what? Mm. This is a binder ding. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh my goodness. This is a binder ding right here. You can see there. There. Ah, oh, I see. Those are the rings. You've got to be careful when having mm. these cars in here. Because sometimes the binder dings... I don't know if that was done in here. I, I don't know. It was Probably, probably not. Generally, but, I'm, but still, I'm very careful not to stack them too high. Because um, yeah. but if that's the case... Um, yeah, I mean it's it's it only because he's on the he's on the first page. Yes, that's that, right. that might be why. That's right. If you're folding, sometimes you know it can be difficult. But this is still ridiculously nice, mm. and in this condition, is still worth you know. It, I'd say this is probably light play. Mm. Um, oh, uh, well, absolutely. Without in that doubt. condition, I've it's still was nice. Light play, but see the tournament pack. Some of these rares as well are just insane, beautiful. I like how you don't stack them on the back as well. That's nice. These are all, are they all European? They are European. And that's interesting because, Stuart, when we were going to tournaments here in the UK, which was in Europe at the time, mm. you're going to get European cards. Yeah. And Hercules Beetle isn't. This is TP, still TP1. That's a, that's an American card, actually. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the E. Interesting. So I can't, can't miss it. I think here. I bought some of them from eBay. Yeah, I, I kept, um, uh, uh, like, the... Mm -hmm. um, a place for cards that I didn't have. Didn't have. So oh, I haven't got the, nice, the, the, nice, full, nice. the full set. That is a morphing jar. Okay, this is insane. This is the best tournament card and in existence. Do you know about the misprint Jinzo yes. jars? Of course you do, yes. yes. I know about the is Jinzo this jar. a Jinzo jar? It's not a Jinzo jar. I don't think it is, unless you can tell me that it is. I don't, I don't know. You know what to, to look for. But I don't think it is. It isn't, no. Wow, this is insane. This is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Am I okay to take it out? I think yeah. this is double sleeved, right? I think it is, yeah. No, it's not. Oh, it's not single sleeved. I've never held a morphing jar. This is insane. Guys, look at that. Look at that condition. Okay, this one doesn't have any, any damage that I can see. Maybe a vertical print line, but not, not even. Not even. The centering is good. It could be a bit better, top to bottom. It's but always, yeah, centering is always very, very. Um, you can't control centering, and that's yeah. just really annoying, isn't it? Like just looking at this, this looks like it could nine, at least. And a PSA nine version of a morphing jar is I'm I'm going to say around four thousand. I think. Jesus. I think there's tens tens sell for ten tens sell for ten. I think one. I, I, yeah, I, I, quite I, a lot. Just want to say I totally trust you um, and your, your you, handling of the cards because I, yeah? I, I know you can um, appreciate this. Well, you're you're better than me, you know. Saying in terms of binder dings and stuff, you know exactly what you're looking for. So please, just, just, please, uh, I, I, I'd say I, I trust I'd, you. <laughs> I'd say I've Be learned. <laughs> oh, always. These are the babies. These are the the children of the, well, the collection. This is insane. This is the best card that we've seen so far. Mechanical Chaser would have been, but TP two. I, I don't believe. There are European versions of these. They're only American. Exile of the Wicked is cool. Call of the Grave. Dragon Seeker. Giant Red Sea Snake. All foils. Insane. Even Ms. Mikazuki no Yaiba is <laughs> I, very I don't expensive. Even that, <laughs> Skull Guardian. Dokuro Rider is nice as well. These cards are, again, we're looking at $150 at least for this raw card. It's it's insane. Is it that much now? I, I do believe so, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, you can get one for 80 if it's in a bit worse condition, but incredible incredible stuff um dancing elf remember that from the from the video game back in the day uh, i'm just gonna move this a little isn't that bit a bit like sensitive. skull servant it is a bit it's, it's, it's a bit the, like yeah the like female skull servant spell yeah. trouble in large numbers but don't if you you know it's like you know things like that the, the, the flavor text on the car yeah, like, yeah it's, it's hilarious like, it's like, I, I think I'm, I came across a kid once who actually had was running Skull Servant and he was running four of them because mm, four. he said that they could spell trouble in large numbers and I was like no, large I'm numbers afraid. I'm afraid not you that, need a larger that. number than four this like is a cool million. card Crawling Dragon I love Crawling Dragon Garuzis very good anime card yes I suppose Wheeler. it is Two Headed King Rex as well was Rex's ace monster 
the best duelist mm -hmm. before you know the Yugi Joey and Kaiba were involved yes. when it was Weevil and him. Um, this is we're moving on to TP3 Pot of Greed. Common from TP3 is expensive. Is it? Very much so. Did you have Kagwa Hercules Super Rare? Did I? No, I didn't. Unfortunately, I'm missing quite a lot of the Super Rares for TP1 okay. because um, two, yeah, TP2, they yeah. were very, Axe very as well. Axe Raider Super Rare is is, is expensive. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize Dragon Counter Jar was TP card. Final Flame. Yeah, even these commons, like you say, they are just really nice to see in in very close to completed sets. Okay, now we're moving on to the reprints of. That's just that's just a rubbish morphing Yeah, it's just this just the super rare version, which is not rubbish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's still amazing. Uh, it's beautiful. Royal decree as well is nice. We're gonna have to yeah, yeah. just briefly take this one out as well quickly. It is the ultra rare of the set. So let's check out the condition of this beautiful royal decree. TP four. Wow. Let's have a little quick look at the. I won't take this one fully out. I'm just going to use it like this. Yeah, no binder ding. This looks mint. Wow, that looks great. Again, I don't even really need to see the corners to say that this looks like it could PSA 10. Seriously. This is, this is why... PSA 10 Royal Decree is, 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 again... This yeah. is what I did. I mean, the, the, the trouble wow. is that... that... I didn't realise that I, my mechanical chaser was right next to the binder ring. So. It's okay, it's okay. Gutted. You don't, but this is a long not, time ago. Not necessarily mm -hmm. correct. Even if it moves around in storage, if you're moving, yeah. you can't really control it. But um, yeah, back in the day, if you were aware of mm. binder dings, it would have helped. But it doesn't matter because your collection is still incredible. And oh, we're moving into, oh, this is beautiful, Luminous Soldier. Luminous Soldier is the card that no one really wants as an ultra rare because it's the least expensive. It's yeah. PSA 10, you're looking at still around four or five hundred dollars. Oh my god. Still pretty nice. Needleworm is what I was expecting. Did you have an ultra rare needleworm? Oh, that's the card that, I know, I've won. That's the before. second. I might, it might even be the most. I think it's population of three in PSA when 10. When I say I've got world. everything, I was talking about the actual <laughs> set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, of get, course. Like, torn Last of Dragons cards, nice. It's so difficult. You know? This, is, this, is, this, is, this is a complete set. Yeah, you've got yes, all the five, the, the Ultra and the four Supers, which is beautiful. Um, the Swamps, that's the. I remember that tournament. The swamp. I was basically just. Um, like waiting at the entrance, basically asking kids, yeah. "Can I have your tournament packs?" Mm. And here's twenty yeah. quid. Wow, well, that's why I got a full, a full set. Oh, okay. Toon Cannon Soldier, that's very nice. I love Toon Cannon Soldier. This is an expensive card. I think a PSA nine sold for, I think six hundred dollars recently. Wow. So, wow. if yours is a nine, I, you know, cards like these are, I'd say it's worth grading them. But complete sets, you could probably still fetch a lot of money a as they are. Set. We, would you grade the whole set and just put it in like a kind you, of a frame? Yeah, yeah, we could do. This is beautiful. What this is a tune card that you don't really see every day. The only thing I can see wrong with it: centering left to right. It's slightly off. Well, at least it's not my fault this time. No. <laughs> yeah, you can't control centering. Wow, beautiful! But this is not stopping it getting a, a PSA nine. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that looks nineable. Again, a card that I would definitely suggest would be worth getting graded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, I always lift the sleeve and push in as opposed to like just whacking it in because it might scratch on the way in. I do the same. Professional. It's, especially with ghost rares as well because you don't yeah, want to scratch oh God, those ghost, ghost rares. I got rid of... I only had a couple, but I got. I was happy to get rid of them because they're such a liability to have. <laughs> really? Like, you just kind of like... It's like if you just look at it wrong, it scratches. <laughs> and it's just like, you know... and. I just couldn't. I wasn't ready for that level of responsibility. I'll stick to my cat and my child. You know? <laughs> Ghost res do require maintenance. What are we getting into now? TP seven. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Nice res from TP seven. Yeah, I didn't, get, any, oh, you yeah, didn't get the fortress the whale. No, that was the one I really wanted. That is a. You can still probably pick one up for a couple of hundred at least. Neko oh, wow. is cool. I don't think I'll be picking anything up. Yeah, there, but, more uh, so on the selling side of it, things. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's well, it, the time has come, and they're they're beautiful things to have. But I'm I, I I'm done. It wasn't my childhood. My childhood was G1 mm. Transformers, Star Wars, and Blocker. Yeah. Cool well, I'll probably card. buy more of that. Or Very just cool. Pay off my house. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Satellite, we're entering Champion Pack now. So Champion Pack 1, Satellite Cannon. Very beautiful card. Going to have to take it out as well, just quickly. It's going to be a bit of a longer video, guys. But again, this is a once every year kind of video because not everyone has a collection like this. So again, as you can see, left to right centering, not the best, <laughs> but it's okay. Let's have a look. That is a gorgeous card. I love Satellite Cannon. Used by Lecter in the anime against Kaiba. Very powerful. 
very very powerful and yeah this one looks great as well this one looks really good condition i wouldn't classify myself as an expert when it comes to the champion pack stuff mm. mainly, mainly because yes i wasn't maybe old enough at the time to appreciate them but just having watched lots of collectors videos i'm going to shout out strictly sealed i'm sure he'll be watching this and saying he might make you an offer on this whole thing What's, um, what, um, strictly sealed i don't oh, know if okay. you're familiar with him on, on on instagram but he it just strikes my mind as someone who'd be interested in picking something like this up yeah. for sure well, you, I mean, Nimble Mamanga. The, the vast majority <laughs> of the cards are all nines and tens. I mean, you know, there, there's literally nothing. I, I, I used to like, you know, prey on 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 kids and yeah, make sure absolutely. once I've taken the card, just put it <laughs> in a sleeve and, yeah, and then straight home. You know, it's like don't touch it, don't open the pack, just give it to me. <laughs> Wave motion cannon. Wow. Okay, that's beautiful. Very powerful card. Um, I used to come up against it and use it back in the day. It's not actually that expensive as it is raw. You could probably pick one up for around 40, 60 quid, but graded 10, you're looking at, again, almost $1,000. Wow. Because it's anime, right? Is it, was it in the anime? Or? It wasn't in the anime. It was it was a meta card back in the day, so people used to run it, it in the was, I do remember it being very, very annoying. If you couldn't <laughs> get rid of it, it's just like... Uh, okay. when they. It was always used to make appearances when they used it's to do the... Um... Something there, maybe a fingernail, but that, again, might have been someone as a, as a child pulling it out Possibly, of the pack and, yeah. and, and not getting it. But that, that, again, this, this could probably PSA 8 yeah. just with that. But again... Mm -hmm. You've got to make a decision. Is it worth keeping it raw or is it worth grading it? If, if, if you can get a 9 or a 10, definitely grade it. If yeah. You, this came from here. Yeah. I mean, there's no guarantees, is it? That's, that's, that's the thing. Again, as you say, it's yeah. grading is it's, subjective. It's, and... it's a lottery. Okay, Blaze Accelerator. Okay, that's interesting. <coughs> that's interesting. That's that's an expensive card. It's like $125. Is it? Yeah, Blaze Accelerator. It's, Volta, it's it's more it, yeah it's it's more because it's the highest rarity of this card and if you want to build okay. mechanics you need God, it you've got you need it. Uh, I do I... hey we're coming into McDonald's now let's go McDonald's I love McDonald's pack how did you acquire these Stuart back in the day um, were, were they were these here in the UK as well they weren't I bought them from no. eBay I think I bought that set from eBay for twenty five bucks the whole set of McDonald's yeah. this was wow. like two thousand and eight seven Beautiful. when That's it was like well. you know. I, I, the things I bought from eBay in 2007 and 2008, I bought a stack of sealed Ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragons. Yeah. Ultimate Rare? Ult, um, the Japanese uh, ones? Secret Rares. Oh, Jump, Secret Rares. Jumps. Oh, Jump. yeah. oh, yes, yes, yes. A uh, hundred of them for like 50 bucks. Funny story, this Flying Penguin is $25 alone now. What? So that pays for the, yeah, the Penguin. I don't know why. People <laughs> love Flying Penguin. <laughs> Premium pack. Okay. I didn't know you had this. This is cool. I've got everything. Uh, apart from like, um, uh, apart from the tournament pack stuff, I've got everything. This is insane. Premium packs, beautiful. Again, these are all, I can tell they're European. They're very dark. So you would have picked up packs here. Hold on a minute. What on earth is that? Is that a misprint? Might be. I don't know. There seems to be missing some secret rare in this corner. Oh, well, sometimes they do. Call get... me crazy. Like up here, there's no secret rare. Weird. There, look. You're right. Obviously thousands of them. Well, again, this means it probably is worth more than the normal. Because my friend has a German German IMS, which is... I think this card was subject to misprints more so than I others. I didn't realise. I, I was being sarcastic. I thought misprints were worth less. No, no, no. Yeah. Misprints are worth more. Okay. There's crazy people out there who will pay a lot for misprints. Oh, my God. Here BPT. we go. BPT. Wow. How did you how did you obtain these, Stuart? I bought the tins and cracked them. But you bought the I tins? I bought the tins and cracked them when they were cheap. That's how you buy Joe. You love that stuff. Oh, BPT, the I original BPT tins. Yeah. Look at these sleeves as well. This, this is, this is, yeah. this is. <laughs> Even this back, well. in, back in the day, hot. I was like, that's really. That's cool. Although yeah. there should there should be twelve BPT. Okay, there's the yeah. rest three. Yeah, so there's nine there, and then tins there's though. three here. Yeah. The hard to grade because on in the tin they're really subject to like scratching out of back. Oh yeah, because they used to knock like, around in a little packet. Yeah, so didn't like they? these mm -hmm. are really loose and really hard to grade cards. Mm. What's interesting is these are all American print. I have not seen one European tin card yet. Which is interesting. I bought a lot off eBay, so that's the reason why a lot of them... And did you used to get from the States back in the day? Or? Back in the day, I used to buy from everywhere, yeah. Oh. Um, this is European. These are Euro. These tins are European. You used to get these at Waterstones back in the day, yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very nostalgic for me as well. Incredible. I'm missing a few tin cards. Yeah, that's okay. That was the first thing I bought. Plasma? Yeah, Plasma. Uh, throwback. I ran a deck around that. She had PSA 10, man. I used I to run want. Plasma and Destiny and Dragoon. Which was Destiny Endrogoon from Light of Destruction. Quite, yeah. quite a decent deck. Yeah. 
back in the day. These but are, nowhere near top tier. This is something interesting. These are Duelist League cards. DL. Mm. Do you know much about rare. Duelist League? No, I don't. Um, well, I know Hob it was Hobby League sure. and Duelist League. And, it, and yeah. Duelist League then went to Hobby League, didn't it? And Duelist League was in America and then um, in Europe. I think. And, and, and I was uh, before I knew what I was doing, I was watching these videos. I was like, I don't even like his introduction. You know? <laughs> but cars. I'm watching his videos. Why am I doing this? But, you know, <laughs> I, I, everyone loves what yourself. opening... Yeah. And his his when he pops off when he gets a card, you know, it's that that's what became signature, and that's mm. probably what's made him a lot of money. I Beautiful god cards, <laughs> yeah, you need that energy. perhaps, yeah. I haven't got the energy to do it. I, 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 you know, I always think about potentially. I think potentially I could be a good YouTuber because I'm. Yeah, I'm good, absolutely. I'm, I'm I'm a good speaker, and and uh, you know, you are a great speaker. Yeah, so sure. I, I, I think I could well. potentially do a very good job, but um, it's just for the energy because I uh, after. Um, you know, my six-year-old comes home from school. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's just it's just playing with him like down the park, playing Daleks with him, playing Doctor Who with him. <laughs> That's where you're And then, and then it's just like, at the end of the day, it's just yeah. like, well, now I'm going to do a video. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go to bed. <laughs> uh, and that's why I'll never be. Uh, uh, well, I don't think. Never say never. never the days of YouTube millionaire. Uh, do you make money, much money from it? Well, the thing is, you can. It's all to do I with ad, ad, ad revenue. And of course, the more subscribers you have, yeah, the more the money you can get. And, it and does. I, I'd say once you hit around 100,000, that's when perhaps you can comfortably start living from it. And the good example to, to mention is Ruxin34. He was an accountant and mm. quit his job only yeah. about six months ago, eight months ago to do full-time YouTube because he is the guy who does the best pack openings and, you know, you've got to give it to him. He opens some crazy stuff. Um, Where do they so, get yeah. the stuff? I know, I know. Because, I mean, occasionally when I contacted you and your mm. mate, and I said, I've got these, I've got these things, he was, like, going crazy. And I was like, yeah, I, I, was, I yeah. went crazy because I saw that. And, and the guy was like, does, does anyone know if anyone if, if these have got any value? And I was like, Jump I think they're really that well. valuable. Just, what, uh, it's a 200 quid for now. I was like, 150? He's like, yeah, deal. Wow. And um, I managed to get like I think it was nine ten. Hey, this is cool. The, uh, the the movie on a sheet. There's eight cards in the <laughs> yeah. plus plus. You should leave that. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so I saved it. Yeah, I just thought it was nice. Who? Where did you acquire this Malefic Red Eyes Black Dragon? I had someone ask me specifically about this card. Why is it a super rare and not an ultra I rare? Don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I just don't know. I That's can't nice. Okay, That's right. what I, I don't know what that is either. Is it original? <laughs> yeah, I just don't know where it came from. It is. Wow. Is it worth anything? I have no idea. I, I don't know about yeah. stuff that isn't like uh, stuff, stuff that's just outside the norm. I'm not very really sure. Is Japanese versions there? Cool. Back to another. Sorry, this is Master F FL. 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 Of course. Wow. Forbidden Which came in the blisters? Uh, yeah. Forbidden uh, yeah. Legends. Yeah. No, Forbidden Legacy. Legacy. Forbidden yes. Legacy. Yeah. Yes. 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 And this is Master Collection. Mm -hmm. Master Collection Volume Two, of course. Black Master Soldier, probably the one you use in your deck. Yes. More promos. So we're entering the GX era now. Yes. Euro and yeah, different. I noticed that. I I um, had to get the STD, to huh? Stairway to the Destined Jewel. Stairway to the Destined Jewel. I've never seen That's it. That's the STD. European. They 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 played around wow. with the cards mm. that you got in a European game versus you got in a U US mm. game. So Dawn the of Destiny, Destiny on one of. Okay, guys, we've got to make sure we're recording for these. These are the DDS. <laughs> DDS is where it's at. These are the ones that you mentioned it's not to double me. Double sleeved. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to get on this. Oh my goodness, I brought sleeves. I feel, I'm starting to feel guilty now. You know, I'm just like okay. Just this, like, these are, these are the cards it's worth actually reviewing and seeing if it's worth grading. And I know Joe is a massive fan of DDS. So here's Blue Eyes, which I'm is insane. Please be careful. Oh yes, it is slightly OC left to right again. <laughs> I probably won't even take this out fully. Oh and, please, and, you, you can you can do. I just, can, but just be very careful. Of course, of course, always. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I'll do. I'll do this. Wow, look at that. That is insane. I think this is the first mint condition one I've ever seen in my life, in up close. The back, you don't even need to see much of it. These were printed really well. Maybe a little bit of something on the top there, but I think that might be a factory error. Just that little dot there. Mm. Don't know what that is, but. It, might even come off if you were to dampen your phone. Oh. But we're not gonna... <laughs> Don't touch it. I know, it's like Leave surgery. You, you need to, you, if you can do Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you, you, you can do uh, surgery. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Uh, it does look incredible, though. And let's just get the uh, Dark Magician out as well. Um, won't probably review these, because the, the value is in the blue eyes. 
yeah. Um, yeah. The Exodia is the lowest value. You'd yeah, it's weird, it, isn't it? You'd think being the most powerful card, it would be the most expensive one, but everyone loves everyone blue eyes. Everyone loves blue eyes, aren't they? Look at these. But the thing is, what I was thinking of doing is getting them graded, but getting them graded with the game that they came from, because the game is mint, and the game is mint. That's thumbnail stuff, stuff as well. Yeah, that is, this is thumbnail stuff. Do you want to yeah, grab yeah, a yeah. photo? We can cut this out while I'm recording as well. This is nice that... Um, so 69, Joe. 69? Yep. Is it? 69. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> I've never heard okay. any, anyone have this Thank much interest in my collection yeah. before. Uh, it's my man, I, I am so happy to do this. Obviously, I'm not going to... just go stupid cards. Really? <laughs> no. No, no, oh, no. no, it's just like, they're just like, oh, you know, my mate who was helping me move all the stuff into this room. Not the electrician. He was just, yeah, he was just... <laughs> oh, really? Same, the same guy. He was same just guy. like, where do you want this? And he just... Dumped it. Dumped oh, it on wow. the bag. And I was like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, well, what's mm. it? It's like, it's probably worth about 50 grand. Just... Leave yeah, that cardboard yeah. box and he's like, what, really? Beautiful. Yes. This is my graded oh, That's devious. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, man. Graded, yeah. It's, it's something about acrylic as well. When you put it in acrylic, it just blocks. Yes. You just know it's like safe. Yeah, but exactly. I, I'm looking at it. Well, we're, we're custodians of it, aren't we? We're, we're you know, essentially we, we are preserving it for yep. the next generation. Um, and... I'm kind of going a bit qu quicker through these yeah. because they are the these GX ones, but mm. still, still really <laughs> nice cards to appreciate. Almost. Nice. Really, really nice. Dark Magician. You're missing uh, no, Sage of Stone. No, no. There was there was only five cards. So this, this is the European. Um, this this came oh, from a the PC, a PC, yeah. PCY. Do you want to grab and it? There's only um, there's only Joe, five. So yeah, these yeah. cards came. From, is this a European one? Yeah. You know, beautiful. And this is for sale. Um, it's your last one. So it is. Yeah, I think it is for sale. I'd love honest, to open because, this to be because, honest on the on the channel. Yeah, I, I yeah. can do this in a video. I, I could sell that. I could sell that because I've got the cards from it here. You do. Um, you do. Absolutely. Um, have you ever played the game as well? The game. It's weird. You it's do, on the Game Boy, right? No. no, it's on. It's PC. Yes. PC. PC? Oh my god. And the game is really fun. I mean, it's like <laughs> really <laughs> really. Like, um, it's lifted straight from the anime, but the the the, 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 the I've never played. It, no, for your channel. Uh, yeah. If you buy that, streaming that, it. yes, yeah, streaming I, that I game that. and yeah. playing it, would be fun. Yeah. It's yeah. it's really entertaining. Yeah. Um, this is insane. Not a bad game, but the the cards are so old. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like they're properly ancient cards that he's using. <laughs> These are nice. These are very nice. My favourite game was Capsule Monsters. I don't know if you recall Capsule Monster Cap Coliseum. That was yeah. yeah, that was very very fun. Here's Slifer. So you have got the um, the YMA. Mm -hmm. These came for this came from the magazine, the DMG. Uh, oh, no idea these are magazines. <laughs> All these things. This is um, new YCS. YCS I, I haven't got many. Like I haven't got anything like Cyberstar. Oh wow! That, that I mean, been, you know, that, that would have been insane. They're, they're like there's like literally about twenty of those in the world. So mm. maybe like I know crazy, fifty so. to hundred, I think max, but still very very limited quantities. Gold. This is GLD one. Nice Jinzo in the gold rarity. Very very cool to see. And Gauze. Yeah. That is not a... No, it's not a YCS. YCS, no. It's still, still <laughs> crazy, though. And, of course, when putting cards, like, putting these back, you want to go, like, a couple of pages at a time, not mm. the whole stack. I, That's I, how you yeah, do the bindings, obviously. I do that, I do and, of course, I've just opened to the DDS page again <laughs> just to say hello. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And, as you say, Stuart, these are all for sale, potentially. Even, yes. even this... Would you want to sell the whole thing to someone? If you had not, an attractive well, offer? It depends. If I had the offer, um, yes, I, I could potentially do it. But, again, okay. I mean, I think the, the thing that I'm most likely to do, I think, is to... Grade some, just right? To start grading yeah. some, yeah. get some money together to grade yeah. one, mm -hmm. grade it, sell that card, use the proceeds to grade more. Because I think otherwise I'll be leaving money on the table. Mm. Considering you would, my yeah. condition, yeah. You know, I mean, mechanical chaser set aside. I think I know, yeah. every, everything is everything is is looking is pretty much nine or ten or eight, sometimes eight, eight, nine or ten. Yeah, absolutely, tens, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. And you still have a super rare needleworm. You don't have the ultra rare, but that doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How could you not have that card? <laughs> I was expecting it. Uh -huh. No, I'm joking. Really cool card. Mystical Sheep, number one. Like, who has this card? It's just like one of those ones. <laughs> Mystical uh, Sheep. What is going on? This is mad. Okay, uh, yeah. there we go. First binder is down. Thank you so much. Do you want to pop I one need on about the ten to go now. These are the rares. Okay, and they're let's all have a look. So they're all for sale. Just please, just make me an offer yeah. and, and shift them. Something, or... something like this. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, they're I all. These are these all are first edition rares. Played. They're, they're, I only bought first edition, so most of them wow, first edition. Wow. But they're all first edition, they're rares, and I'm quite happy to let some of them... Oh, they're old stacks. rares, yeah, too. Like... Like yeah, yeah, level 5 on Dragon, Rottweiler. That's the first Unlimited cards I've seen. <laughs> Still insane. Doomdozer. Yeah, some of these are like a pound or two each, yeah, easily. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking, yeah. Like, easily. 
Gladiator like Beast Laquari, I know, is, is is a good rare. It does come in super rare from A, I think. And I'm sure there's plenty Swarm more. Light, Lumina, yeah. Light Swarm. She mm -hmm. was great. Yeah. So here we're getting into the last of Line of Destruction. Here's 5Ds. Here's Duel's Genesis. Crosses that, of Chaos. That whole binder is Cactus is Fighter. Sale. You this know, whole binder is for sale. The whole binder. I want to. I would rather sell that binder. Yeah. Uh, as a binder, as a whole binder. Yeah. Of um, course. Someone give me a, a decent price. For yeah. It, yeah. 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 These are from Duelist Packs. Interesting. Yeah. Very very nice. Still really rare. Different different for sure. Uh, have we got some of the older stuff now? Well, that's that's worth something. Rule decree from well, maybe not. Retro Pack Two. Mm. Um. What's that? Twenty back at Gozo Match. That's a rare. Gozo Match as a common is three quid. So as a rare, it's got to be at least a tenner, at least. Really? Oh, wow. I, I'd say so. Yeah. Skill drain. Oh my god! How many of these do you have? Because it was a it was a thirty pound card recently. You know? What? Yeah. Recently it was when it came. <laughs> I'm so glad you came today. Yes. I was yes. going to sell the binder for like one hundred and fifty quid. I was like, no, seriously, it, it was a thirty quid card. I, now it's probably like fifteen, but Ooh. still, it's still very, very valuable, my man. Okay. Very, very valuable. Okay. It's, That's it's the best card by far that I've seen in here, hundred yeah. percent. Well, occasionally there are going to be a few gems. I mean, God, the knowledge that you you guys must have as 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 the it's all up here. <laughs> but, but to have it's like knowledge of like a hundred, a hundred. No, you guys like, know as well. Sets. You know, I mean, I've got some fairly good knowledge, but my knowledge is old and and in terms old school, of value, yeah. I don't. I don't I feel like I you're more of the, the limited edition kind of promos, tournament packs. That that stuff is, is incredible knowledge. I've just got some really odd stuff, yeah. And there you go. That's the last one there. Yeah. Yeah, space from Power of the Dollars to finish. Mm -hmm. Can be a bit less careful with these because they are, yeah, other yeah. than Skilled Rain, some, some pretty of them, much some worthless. Some of them are played and, uh, yeah. They're Still nice, much. though. But, they're, yeah, you yeah. know, they're, they, I want to get, I've been wanting to get rid of this binder. I just I just want to find the right person that will appreciate it. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Hopefully that'll be you. Or some, yeah, some I will be. We can talk, obviously, if there is anything that you are selling. Um, we have to go through. I want to go through these decks now, if that's okay, yeah. real quickly. All these are for sale. These are decks for sale. Interesting. Well, I think that's my old plant deck. A few other, I think they're all Yu Gi Oh's in there. I do like these uh, these metal tins as well. Let's just go they're through great. these. They're great. They're great. Yeah. So a lot of this stuff is the first edition, Duelist Genesis Oops. and Crossroads of Chaos and nice. the stuff that you can. So these are all tin cards. Um, yeah. And they're all uh, unsleeved. So commons and rares are unsleeved, but anything. Oh, wow, debris dragon common. Wow, black so, and gale. And they're all. They should all should be first edition. They're all for sale. You're right. Wow. They are all first edition. These. I. I. My ultimate goal, Stuart, is to complete all sets first edition, mm. from G, uh, GX five Ds and. Uh, uh, GX five and original Yu Gi Oh, of course. Because these, so you'll these will these cards. These are, I, I I probably will make you an offer on these. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And they're all you know pretty much. I mean they've been knocking about in the deck. Beautiful. Box, there we go. There's condition. an ultimate rare. What's that? Titanium. Hyper Psychic Blaster. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I used to love Psychics. Not very playable card. Not playable at no. all. <laughs> not playable. I love how you remember that. Not playable, but actually really fun to look at. And I used to love Psychics. Krebons was my 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 mm -hmm. main guy. Yeah. Negate an attack for it, it cost of 800. If you had, uh, what's the name? Uh, the Arch, what's it called? Um, I can't remember. Archfiend. No, it was, it was the, uh, was oh, the super rare, the magical android. Yeah. There you go. You could increase. Psychics were a thing back in the day, like emergency teleport and things like that. Yeah. Uh, e teleport. Teddy Dad, wasn't it? Here we go. Here's Titania, Prince of Camellias. Ah, uh, that's the one I was thinking. Do you know what? I have her in PSA 10. I think that is probably going to be a PSA 10. Uh, it's beautiful. Well, maybe, maybe a nine. It's very nice. Looks nice again, <laughs> I'm going to say it, bit off centre, oh, top to bottom. We should stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Armoury. Okay, this is from this is from uh, Duelist Packs, which are interesting. Mm -hmm. Destiny Draw, Duelist Pack. I love these sleeves. Armoury Arm is a weird card. It is weird. <laughs> it's like, it's a, it's a synchro that you can attach, like a union. It's it's bizarre. Here we go. Uh, Power of the Duelist, first edition from the Duelist Pack. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Gotta love. There's quite a few of those. I, I, love, I love doing a, a good voice, a voiceover. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are hilarious. What are these? These are just doors pack cards. Okay, here we go. Elemental Hero Prisma is is, is beautiful. This is this sort of weird stuff. I just plasma up. vice. That's from the tin. You didn't have that in your binder, actually. This should go. No, in there. I, uh, it's not mint enough. Really? I bought it from eBay and it's not mint enough. Okay. Oh, really? so <laughs> Same with Doomfire. I'm just like, I'm looking, it's like, oh, there's a spot there now. <laughs> really? I don't, put, I don't put it in my binder unless mm. it's like 8, 9 or 10. Wow. Okay, here's a TP Luster, nice. Hidden Soldiers, two in Gemini. This is a fake. Is it? Or a misprint. 
Let's have a look. What is the, the, the name? Is That should be an ultra rare. Why is the name... Julius League 4. No, I think that is... White name? It's it's weird. Um, what on it's earth not, is that? It's not a fake. I don't think it's a fake. You're right. It probably isn't. But... Maybe it is. I don't know, but... It's a weird card. I used to buy a lot of very, That is very weird. weird cards. I'm, look, this is this mm. is this is strange. This is very strange. Let's just check the back. No, it's not fake. I don't think it's fake. Cause there was a famous question about Machine Kings, whether they are prize cards. Whether they are not. It's not. But I've never seen one without a shiny name, my friend. All right. This okay. could be interesting. Well, if someone watching knows, please let me know. But this is interesting, my man. Okay. And considering this is in your we'll non-mint pile, we'll might be worth something. <laughs> would, you like, would you like to? Um, yeah? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I think I've got another one in my binder. But you it's... do. Get it. And it, you'll check. That's an ultra rare name. It's, it has an ultra rare name. Oh. I'm only being equally fair and honest here and, and giving yeah, my yeah. valid opinion because I do think that might be worth something. So, you, well, that's weird. Like a misprint. Or I've or never seen one with, with, a, with a white name. Before. Oh, it's not. Um, what these, are the, these are the rare ones. No, it will be in the. Um, it will be in here. But um, I trust you. I'll, I'll, I'll find it later. But yeah. I'll. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll these I'll are nice, them. man. Are these? These? Did you say these are for sale? Yeah. Okay. God. Okay. Blimey. Um, yeah. I obviously bar that because if we find out that is just a regular misprint, mm -hmm. I, I just never seen one. And okay. for me not to have seen one, <laughs> it might be. It might mean something. Well, a lot of um, collectors, you know, when they used to look at my collection, they, they, they would say, you've got stuff I've not seen before. And it, mm. it, it's weird. I used to collect weird things that no one really wanted mm. back in the day because I was a completionist. And then, you know, Genesis, they still Genesis. don't want them like 20 years later, but they're very beautiful and unusual cards. Definitely, and we'll look at them and go, what the hell is that? You know, it's <laughs> like, you just don't, they, their value isn't huge on them because they weren't featured in the anime, but they are interesting. These are all, uh, they are all Duelist Genesis, but they're not in order, I don't No, no, think. they're just bung them in there. Um, but they are all, like, traps and all spells And together. they should be all first editions. Yeah. Most of them. Okay. First edition. first edition Ultras. Very nice. Oh, I love Goyo Guardian. Could... Here she is, Magical Android. That's the lady we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Kinko Bayou. Yeah, this is nice. I definitely would love to make an offer on uh, the Duelist Genesis. Ooh, Psychic Overload. Again, an ulti. Yeah. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And Shield Warrior as well. We'll probably put it at the top because it's a rare. Okay. So that's Duelist Genesis. Very, very nice. I have pulled on my channel, Stuart, the Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon. Unlimited, though. You, oh, unlimited, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone's pulled it on camera for first edition. First edition. edition. Didn't oh, simply do that once. Oh, you did, actually. You did, yeah. yeah he did, he did. He, Sorry, he, he did. He did, he did. I'm talking rubbish. But he had to buy loads of packs to do it. And you know, you, when you bank roll in that, it's like, you know, mm. it, but then I suppose... Is this your Light Swarm deck? Um, I can see a Light Swarm card. <clears throat> I don't think it is. I think my it might be my, my plant deck floating around one of those boxes somewhere. I'm just checking that we're still recording, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Neos. I know. No, luckily <laughs> we, we do have the footage. It was just the Wi-Fi. Good. Gene Walt Werewolf. I love these sleeves. Yeah, you know, some people, cool. some people would pay love... a lot of money for these sleeves. I've got an entire two or three boxes of them upstairs. Yeah. Some of them sealed. Insane. No, you don't really. Yeah. Old, Sle old sleeves. sleeves yeah. But again, the, the the bloke I was mentioning, strictly sealed. He would pay you very well for those if you are willing to sell. Yeah, yeah. Means going up the loft and, <laughs> and using this table. <laughs> Here we go. Your your Destiny and Dragoon. Yeah. And Lila, ultra rare, beautiful. I used to love her in Ultimate Rare. Oh, beautiful. Such a a waifu card, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're aware of why. Oh, I'm aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> it used to worry I'm, I'm me saying, when people used to yeah. put like why some boost. of the, the the sleeve art on some people's cards. Yes, <laughs> and the and the play mats as well. Heavy Storm. This is a Euro first edition from Med, uh, Metal Raiders. Very yeah. Nice. Oh, here we go. We're getting in some some old school uh, hollows now. That's really nice. Mirror Wall Euro Guardian Seal. Oh, nice. Great Desire Cyber Shock. Rose Warrior. Great Desard. I remember. I remember. I used Ill blood. To, Ill I blood. used to play Helpoema. Um, it wasn't particularly playable, and it died quite easily. Mm -hmm. But if it could get going, and there wasn't a response for a couple of turns, yeah. they were in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's like attack. You lose a card. You lose another card. Yeah, like, and if you, this is been the days of delinquent duo as well. And you like was it unbanned? Play delinquent duo. Helpoema. Yeah. It's like uh, you've got the, the combo. I used to love doing that. I used to. I used to even play Mask Sorcerer. It's like literally everything attacking was just discard a <laughs> card, discard a card, That's and incredible. and it was very much like. Back in the day, when there wasn't a huge amount of removal, mm. if you could get away with a couple of attacks, mm -hmm. 
Card advantage is so important. Nice cards here. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I've, again, probably might make you an offer on these, mm -hmm. Stuart, for sure. I do like these decks. They are, especially the tins, if they come with well, them I as figured, well. I figured I had to have, you know, you've you travelled all this way and I <laughs> had to get you something which these, you would be interested these in. These are interesting as well, these common cards here. I like how you've got top loaders. That's There's a the first edition yeah. LOB pot of greed in there somewhere. Is there really? Yes, there is, and it's for selling. Shrink. Started that cards. Okay, these might not be so interesting. Uh, this is more for you, Oscar. These are, for you, these are for you to, if you ever buy anything, you can put some. Oh, some yes, here we go. The Monarchs. Yeah, these are Champion Pack Commons. Nice. Interesting. I don't know if they're worth anything. Retro Commons Pack each. 2. Yeah, this is this is a, this is is a a quite a big card, I think. Burning Spear. Mm, just knocking about. Yeah. <laughs> like, unprotected. Yeah, yeah. Do, you maybe, do you want to maybe. Uh, this, is grab what me. this is what I'm <laughs> saying. It's like, I don't. <laughs> do you want to maybe grab a sleeve? <laughs> well, it's, it's just. It's like literally my mindset as a collector was like, I've got one copy of it, it's sleeve. That's all you need. And then yeah. some Japanese else, cards here as well. Like, I, mean, I still take care of them. Yes, I know. Mm. They're really nice as well. Yeah, they, they do. That was actually. Do you uh, know why you like them? Because they're mint condition. Yeah. That's why you're. And they're, 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 they're more. This um, is from Joey's deck, I think. They're more. Um, they're more. Uh, yeah, Joey, here we go. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, 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 they last longer. They, they don't get damaged as Correct. quite as easily. The card stock is yeah, nicer. It's, it's much mm. nicer. Yeah, um, it and uh, incidentally, that uh, Japanese um, uh, deck was mm -hmm. the first ever Yu Gi Oh! That deck you I was. I didn't even buy it. My friend got me into Yu Gi Oh! No, he went to really? Japan and he bought a deck. And he came back and he was like, you like card games? And that's what, go. I opened that deck and that's the very first Yu-Gi-Oh cards I ever saw. And that's oh, what yeah. got me into collecting. Mm. And, not, not the ultra rare. No. <laughs> and, then, and then 25, 30 years later, they're still in better condition than half the other stuff. Because it's... <laughs> they are, they are, yeah. They're even just, even just, unsleeved, yeah. It's, it's insane. It doesn't get, they don't get damaged. They're very, very good condition. Another common needle worm. It's from the gold, yeah. I think the common is, mm. is unfortunately worth, worth 50 cent. But yeah. like, yeah. still, still. There are nice cars in here. This is the best burning spear yeah. by far. I probably want to sleeve that. This is just if, like, if, if I am. I, I got rid of so so much. I mean, I I was selling like um, short prints and super short prints yes. like, in in bundles of like fifty cards with a hollow on top. Oh, okay. on to attract to attract the. What is in here? I was selling them on Amazon for like fifty fifty five five pounds. Okay, okay, these are metal um, raiders commons. Okay, yeah. Um, here it is, pot of greed. Do you know what it does, Stuart? Uh, I think it draws two cards. Yes, there we go, my man. Yeah. Love the banter of Port of Greece. It's just, it's just so. It was oh, so, there's two. It, the reason oh, Euro. It's the ultimate. Magic Crew, yeah, right? there's, nice. there's, so there's three actually. <laughs> One on the four. I don't Still, sure. still very, very. Nice. But um, Port of Greed was like it was just like such a no-brainer. It was in every single deck when it wasn't banned. Because mm. like, why how long was it unbanned? <laughs> a card that I can play instantly and to draw more, two cards. Yeah. So yeah. everyone was like. You know, Raigeki, Pot of Greed, Dark Hole. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to this album. We have a Soul of the Duelist complete set. Very, very nice. Let's uh, take a little look. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We can get Beautiful. that on camera, yeah? Maybe. Fantastic. Oops. If you hit an Ultimate Rare Horus. Okay, so what I like what you've done here. You've not got the Ultimate Rares of these cards. I would do the same. The Ultimate Rares, because Mobius comes as Super and Ulti. Yeah. Ninja yeah. comes as Super and Ulti. Uh, yes. Replacer comes as rare and ulti. I put them at the end. You have? I'm oh, sorry, did, yeah. I miss on, did I miss them? Right at the end of the binder. So no, no, you I'm missed like... just the uh, the ultra and super rare versions of Soul No of the one really cares too much about Soul of the Duelist. <laughs> you put them oh, in... It's kind of vintage now. Oh, oh it, it is vintage. vintage. Creator, very, very groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. We are still recording, which is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep looking. Not after that trouble that we've had. <laughs> I'm sure you'll edit all this together. But... Oh, yeah, absolutely. The edit will be uh, special. Here we go. Sacred Phoenix, I love gorgeous. It. I love that card. It's a... one of my favourite cards. Have you noticed, the one thing that not many people know about Sacred Phoenix is, check out the hands. You'd think a phoenix wouldn't have fingers, but it does. It might completely change the way you look at the card. Oh my god, have you? <laughs> I know, right? How weird is that? It's like, what? <laughs> It, it, for me, it, it kind of freaked me out, uh, but it's 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 completely up to you whether it does as well. Let's just show everyone <laughs> what I mean. Yeah, it's a bit hot, The isn't it? hands there on the Sacred Phoenix. You didn't expect yeah. it from a beautiful winged beast to have, you know, five, <laughs> four fingers and a, and a thumb. <laughs> My favourite card in Ultimate Rare, Behemoth, the king of all animals. The guys actually uh, got me an Ultimate Rare for, for my birthday, which was last week, which was nice. 
Okay, we're moving on to the Lost Mil oh, sorry, uh, yeah, the Lost Millennium with an unlimited gear golem, which is your, which is NA. Pretty I'm sorry, that's the only one I've got an unlimited because I it's can't. Okay. Well, I, bought I, I don't know the first edition either. That's the, the 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 most recent card in my collection. I bought that about two months ago because it just completed a set, mm. but I couldn't find it. Well, I, I couldn't justify spending it. Sixty quid yeah. or for 50, or, 40 quid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that's for the ultimate rare. Obviously. Yeah, the, the ultimate rare is very rare. Someone might own a PSA 8 here, Oscar. Hmm? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ancient Gigal and my friend. So mm -hmm. we're getting into, here we go, Wing Kariba level 10. Cyber Dragon, very nice. That's a Euro print, uh, I can Beautiful. tell. Beautiful. Cyber End Dragon, also European. Uh, ultra rare, very nice. Did you pack most of these yourself? Hmm? Did you pack most of these? Good yeah. question. You pull these from packs, most, most of all these, of these cards. I did, yeah. Elemental Energy, beautiful. Some it's of them I traded game. for, but I would always trade for them. Oh, I'd hang around the when people well. buy opening packs, and I'd be like, what do you want for that? Nice. But most, sometimes I have Ten to pence. complete them by buying them from eBay, and it's Beautiful very, very page. difficult. eBay is a, is a lottery. Like People say mint, yeah. and you buy it, and you're like, that's not mint. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's just, and then you have to send it back, and they're like arguing with you, and it takes ages. Hey, the Sacred Beasts in Euro Ultra Rare. Very nice. You don't have these in Ultimate Rare, do you, Stuart? Um, I think I might have Beautiful. some. Beautiful. I'm not sure what. Stuart, you weren't selling your ultimate rares on eBay, were you? No. Okay, I was someone else. But he had loads of like uh, ultimate rare cards recently. Not recently, I'd say about a couple of years ago. He was selling the playset of them for like 200 quid. Uh, now, yeah, yeah. They've, they've gone up a fair bit. Dreadmaster, I pulled the other day from when I opened my box. I honestly don't know what I've got in ultimate form, so it'd be interesting to find out. They're all at the end. And the then of this binder? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're a fan of ultimate Please. rares here. Okay, this is EOJ. Nice. Hero. 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 Sorry. That's why you need a full page binder. Mm. You do. Binder. Just yeah, that. just the right hero. Power of the Duelist, very nice. I have an alien friend who is a big fan of aliens. These are nice. These are, yeah, beautiful. The best for, I pulled this one in Ultimate Rare the other day, which is a shame. I wanted one of these. Mm. But we still have more. Beautiful. Oh, I love this. Cyberdark Impact, a Lure Queen in Ultra Rare. She's cool. Mm -hmm. She's a very, that was one very... of the ones I sold, uh, Allure Queen Level 8 Ultimate, Ultimate First Edition on. And, and uh, Elemental Hero, uh, Mistress Diodaro, and that was... Doriado. A, a beautiful The Blue Ultimate Ritual. Rare. Oh, it's was just it like European one of the most oh, it, was, it was just the most beautiful card, and I sold it for like 80 quid. Uh, it's such a, I know. But, we all have those regrets. Mm. So when the, the market goes up, the market goes down, you know. All right, here we go. Turning into the Ultimate Rare, guys. Ta -da -da! Okay, this is insane. We have uh, right off the bat a Mobius, very rare, very rare. Let's just move those so we can get the light on them. Horus, the Black Flame Dragon, level six. Master of Oz is a great card, very many people's favourite. Let's just, uh, in fact, take him out because he looks cool. He's got um, Air's Rock in the background, right? Mm -hmm, I think so. There's a bit of uh, dust inside that sleeve there. Maybe I should annoying. change the sleeve. No. <laughs> I'm that... paranoid now. It's on the card. Do you mind if I... Uh... No, no, let's, let's rescue him. Actually, no, it's not. It's in the sleeve. Ah, leave it in. It's not going to affect it. Don't worry. No, it should be all right. Just really least. annoying. Still beautiful, though. Oh, look at these ulties, man. These are insane. I love the um, Sacred Feather of the Phoenix. That, that one. I was looking at that. The it looks really, really, really cool. Yeah. These are cool, man. These are These are amazing. Wow, you've got the whole, you've got the whole um, FET page. Oh, well, I've got a Sacred whole page Phoenix of, of Nephesis, yeah. man. That is insane. That, uh, that, is that big money? Which one? Phoenix? Phoenix? Sacred Feather. Phoenix. Sacred Phoenix is big money. One recently sold for £150 on eBay. Decent. I think my friend actually bought it, so he, <laughs> he, he probably want another one if you are selling, but... Uh, well, it's always... I always bear it in mind, but I mean, that, that card, again, it's like certain cards... That one's beautiful. also like love, 60 love, quid, eh? Yeah, it's just such a beautiful card. I can't believe these cards. Well, let's just check out the back for the waxing. Mm, again, again, there's a bit of uh, dust in here. Eh? Yeah, it's um, just ulti. the years. <laughs> the ulti dust. Oh, it's actually not got that much waxing on it. It does have a little. Can you see What's that you line? Waxing, so? Can you see that line? Yeah. That line there. Okay. That's wax there. You can ah, see it there. Okay. Okay. And they come out of the pack 
some people have tried like using like rubbing material <laughs> on it, and uh, and uh, that doesn't. I, some have that succeeded. Sounds most, like most... it won't end well. Yeah, no. <laughs> In some cases, hand goes through the card. Is it just? It's, sometimes it's just best to leave it as mm. it is. Isn't it? This is insane, Except guys. It. This is insane. This is absolutely marvelous. Behemoth, my favorite. Ulti. Uh, this page is just oh, gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Amazing. I'm trying to complete all the ultimate rares myself, but uh, it's a very, very slow Mind and arduous process. As well. mm -hmm. uh, part to it, and uh, I'm hoping that if I do start the grading process, a lot of these will get eights, nines, and tens. Yeah, I mean, eights you break even, really. Eights, eights is not really worth grading with no. the time eights and cost to do price. it. Wow. Yeah, but it is for certain cards if you yeah. grade eights. Yeah, not for all of them though. Okay. You've got to be careful. You got to look for pushing for nines and tens. Karma cards. That's a, again fifteen pound ulti there mm -hmm. and. Phantasm Martyrs, I think, is about 10. Mm -hmm. Cyclone Boomerang, I think I sold one a year ago for around 12 quid. So, like, there's, there's mm. cumulatively so much value here. Cyber Prima, I pulled on the channel. These are all Power of the Duelist. Then Cyber Dark Impact. Nice. Dasher, is that a European Dasher? No, it's American. But Dasher is, again, this was very, very expensive mm -hmm. because of the new Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer that's been released. So... Definitely would have, would want to check that before you were to sell. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. This, this binder was really cool, actually. I really <laughs> enjoyed this one. Cool. cool. Amazing. Really, yeah, if there are really any nice. um, if there are any cheap ones that you don't want, um, I'll happily take a load off your hands. If yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Absolutely. You know, we'll keep we'll keep in touch. And, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. At least we know what is here and exactly. like, yeah, yeah, an true, idea true. of condition. You see, I I, I want to. I've got a few debts, not much, but I've got a few debts I want to clear. Um, yeah, yeah. Of course, I also absolutely. I also want. Um, uh, I, I want to concentrate on getting a full run of G1 Transformers, getting a full run of the yeah. Star Wars It's stuff. never like you're, you're getting the money. Whenever I sell something, I reinvest in yeah. my passion and hobbies. And that's yeah, yeah, probably yeah, what you're going to do as well, right? And uh, Stuart, <laughs> taking, a, uh, taking a leaf from what I can understand is your book, you would rather sell to someone who can appreciate oh, someone, I wouldn't, rather I wouldn't than sell someone to, who can I flip. I wouldn't sell to anyone yeah. else. No, of um, course. And, and uh, you know, generally, I, I, I buy things that I, I love, you know? And I, I was talking to my my son. He was very. Um, How old is your son, Stuart? He's six. And he was okay, like, oh, you did say, didn't you? Yeah. He, 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 <laughs> I, I said, oh, um, "All this is going to be yours one day." And he goes, "Really, Dad?" And I'm like, "He goes, I prefer to have you." And I was like, "Oh, that's." Oh. <laughs> yeah, but, but then again, yeah, it's him, a first edition Blue Eyes Red Dragon. In ten years, they'd be like, "Come on, you know, off your off your palm." This, Where's this my inheritance? Is, this is insane. <laughs> this is this is probably uh, the rarest card that we've seen. One of. First edition blue eyes. European, but still. Again, off center, left to right. However, <laughs> however, oh. PSA 9 sells for £2,000. No, not the, Not more. Not more because not it's Euro. It's, but it's, it's a shame the because the, the E's are... Not the, yeah, the E's kill it, but it's... Uh, still not... I sold a PSA 10 Exodia piece is for Is that glossy or wavy? It is glossy. They're is all it? glossy. They're all glossy. European cards are all glossy. Although there's two prints of European cards. The European cards that were printed in America and the European cards that were printed in 2004, a year later, which were printed in and Belgium you, in the new factory. Do you know anything about, like, in Master Collection, they had a reprinted blue, um, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yes, 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 yes. From Master Collection MC1, I yeah. pulled a Blue Eyes. With EN? EN. Do you have it here? No, I sold it. How much is it? Is that EN is is rare? It's less than first edition. It's it's like a middle part between unlimited and first edition. I don't want to know. <laughs> no, no. I, if it was if it was truly mint, well scented, now you could probably fetch four hundred pound raw. <laughs> Not too bad. Graded ten a, a grand, I'd say max. Mm. Yeah, in the end, blue eyes, right? Dragon be around. Nice. These are all first edition euro. This is insane. <laughs> all that's what I ever collected. Insane. All first edition euro. Wow. The all those lot. foils. Wow. Old Red stuff, Eyes man. Black Dragon isn't even isn't even sleeve steward. What is are it not? we doing? No, what are we doing? What <laughs> are we doing? <laughs> Do you want to grab a sleeve? Um, yeah. Um, I have sleeves. Yeah, sleeves. Can, can someone get a sleeve? What the hell? Why is it not sleeve? That is insane. This is really. <laughs> this is really well. Joey's hiding well. inside. Put it down, put it down. In my small pocket, my man. There you go. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the off center on the back, though. Oh. See what I mean by thick, thick, thin, yeah, thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, this could probably grade an eight or a nine easily. Do you want to grab one for me, Joe? It's Do you mind if I use a soft sleeve? It. No, no, go for it. Do whatever you want. These are what I like to use. Penny sleeves. Penny sleeves, yeah. Beautiful, look. Is this what you mean by double sleeve? 
Um, if you have a smaller one, then put it, put it in a bigger one, yes. But let's just get him back in there in a sleeve. Good old, uh, good old red eyes. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, these sleeves are a little bit less, a bit more. Uh, that's that's crazy though. To have not been in the sleeve for what? How, how many years? Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> wow. I don't know what he was doing out the sleeve. Most of the most of the falls I see. Wait, where's Exodia? Normally Exodia would be at the back. Did you not? Do you not have Exodia? Yeah, I've got Exodia. Oh, sorry, this is still LB. God, it's a massive it's set, different. It? It's a different... Um, Here we go, of... Exodia! A bull of the rapes with Gaia. That's insane. Beautiful. They all look... See, this is what I would say needs to be graded. This kind of stuff here. They're all on sleeve! Yep. Jesus! Yes. I didn't want to point that out. <laughs> they are all on sleeve. Monster Reborn is sleeve. Why are yeah, they on Monster sleeve? Reborn, yeah. I, suppose, I suppose they're not going to... They'll be all right. Though. Yeah, they are. They, they, are, they are okay. They are okay. They are okay. You know, you could argue taking them out and putting them in a sleeve is I more risky than, than, than leaving them. But... No, I don't think so. But I, I, no. will, I, will, I will see to that. Yes. Thank you for letting me know. No, no, no. That's insane. Look at that. I want to just check out the, the head of Exodia real quickly. Because mm -hmm. it is a gem. Look at that. Guys, this is absolutely... Mint and I have to say decently centered for for LOB, but still it's uh, look at look at the back. <laughs> Hooray! No, it's still it's still a little bit OC. I'm just being nice. Should we? Yeah, uh, if we're yeah. gonna take them out, we'll put them back in. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you very no, much. No, 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 it's okay. That's why I brought them. Probably saying we've got like an hour left. Oh, that's still like. Good yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, no we'll, we'll we'll go through this real quick. No, we'll no, 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 it's right, it's right, it's good. Thank you, Oscar, my man. Loving it, loving and, like, it. The sleeves are a little bit longer than the top, but it should be okay. So it's a good reminder to come back and get them all done. This You're week. very welcome. If you want, if you want to do another video, or um, you know, if, if we, if it's I do scroll. get serious about selling, then if you get any offers, Gate let Guardians me know. Are missing. Mm. Interesting. You're missing Gate Guardians. Yeah, I, oh, it's I not sold even that expensive. A first edition, uh, Black a Skull, North wow. American set on eBay about three years ago. Of what? Ago. Metal Raiders? Metal Raiders for yeah. 500. I think I remember seeing that on sword listing. So really? Was very good, very good. That. You know, really, yeah. it was mine and really I had two hot? sets and I didn't think, I was like, I don't care because I wanted, I wanted to collect the European ones mm. because I'm well, in, in the UK and that's yeah. what I remembered as a kid. And I was like, I'll just get rid of the North American ones when I should have just kept both of them. Wow. But, you know, as I said, regrets, but you know, it's not that's as if cool. I don't have money, so. That is a reprint. I can tell from a master collection. Is it? It is. Oh, dear. It's okay. It's fine. These are all first year. It's the only card that I'd say is not as much as it would be, but still, mm. those are beautiful. So I'm judgment. What oh, a powerful see, card. See, you've got better eyes than I have. Just by seeing it, like I can, I can tell. Thousand Dragon, is that Euro? Is that Reverse Foil? No, it's still Euro Foil. Mirror Force. Who didn't love Mirror Force back in the day? First edition Mirror Force. Okay. One of my favorite Magic cards. Ruler. Okay. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. First edition E. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. Two PSA 10s in the world. I own one of them. Okay. This should be in a sleeve, but we'll leave it in here. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, you don't want to know how much I was, I received offers for my PSA 10. It's uh, kind of scary. I think that'll be a, well, it depends on the centering. No, centering's good. Centering is good. And the back okay. is also ridiculously good. Yeah, probably, Jesus. probably going to grade a 10 and we're talking thousands. We're talking thousands, Stuart, yeah. Thousands well, that'll, be, that'll be the third one. <laughs> yes, yes. When you're talking about numbers like that, though, that's the thing. It, mm. It's crazy. Two in the it? world. And you're actually looking like, oh, I've got something that's like, you know. Um, I'm literally looking ten It's yeah. interesting. I've been, um, Lincoln, do I? I've been getting into uh, um, NFTs amazing. recently on, on Oh, yeah, games. okay. Nice. Um, and I'm not seriously putting a lot of money into it, but whenever there's a new pack launch, um, if you open a pack of cards, you get serial ones. Like you're mm -hmm. the first person in the world to open that, oh, yeah, that on the blockchain, yeah. and they're going for like you know hundreds of dollars. Mm. Uh, uh, Doctor Who. There's a there's a card game called Doctor Who Worlds Apart, which is coming out. So but it's nice. NFTs. Um, oh, nice. So yeah. I, I've been investing a, you know, a little bit of money into that. Very nice. Very nice. That again is a reprint Jinzo. Oh, it's not. Right? It is. It oh is, it is. no. Is that one you purchased recently? I bought it on, on, on eBay to, to, to okay. complete the set. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's still it's still complete set. It's just not Euro first. It is Euro, but it's unlimited and reprint from 2000. It's just so hard to find a European first edition gin. They just don't exist. Some of those cards, they're so hard to find. I've been waiting for years for them to come up on eBay. Buster Blader as well um, mm -hmm. is a reprint. Right. How, we, how can we tell? Just because. It's too shiny. It's too glossy. And there's stars in the... 
down here there's stars in the label yeah and then the back just looks way too shiny all the, all the ones that i that interesting you should say still, that, still they're all the ones i bought on ebay yeah and i just didn't but, 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 realize thinking about it like you didn't know there was reprints you didn't know well, I knew this that again I is a reprint legendary fisherman mm -hmm, yeah i can see but again if you probably had paid 10, again 50, eBay, but yeah. this is not that is european nice rare rare to see in euro do you have a labyrinth of nightmare in here as well yeah should do, yeah. I think so. Reprint, non-reprint, reprint. So I can just tell, man. Mm -hmm. This is a bit crazy. Here we go. L-O-N. I own a first edition sealed box of this. Wow. Yeah, very nice. Gemini Elf, beautiful, beautiful. Very, very nice cards. This is insane. Yeah, this is a very rare... This was the last European original dual monster set to be released. Mm. Like, yeah. yeah. As you can see, this is the last one in your binder, of course. That was the first card I ever, I ever pulled. You know how did we sound? When I bought yeah. the, the the boosters, yeah. I tell you where I got that from. I always remember where I got that from. Where, where, and where? It was, it was uh, in back in the day when you bought DVDs of mm -hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh. HMV. You used to no. get a free pack with the DVD. And, uh, and I, no, I bought right. Volume Two, which was like you know Journey to Jeweler's Kingdom, and I bought and there was a, uh, an MRL pack in that DVD. And oh. when I opened that up, I got you can't even stand. That was like literally the first, the first uh, pack I ever opened. Wow! And then the second pack I ever opened was an IOC pack, and I got a a, a, a blue a Black Master Soldier. Uh, Jeez! And, that's and literally, really nice as a star, I was like, you know, we stand a Black Master Soldier. That's why I got into Yu-Gi-Oh because yeah, I was yeah, like, no. well, I've got luck here, obviously. Um, and then I pulled on a bunch of columns and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was but so hard to get foiled. They ropes you in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I did get lucky though. I mean, a, a couple of times on my pulls, it's like um, I remember buying um, one one set of uh, gold um, uh, gold reprints. When I got um, mm -hmm. Crush Card Virus. Gold, um, yeah, gold, yeah. And, and then someone stole it from me at the tournament. Um, no, the really? Was, yeah, I was. Just, I said. I said to someone. I know, very trusted and said, can you look after my deck box? And when I came back, um, no, my deck box was, my deck was still there. But my, uh, they just taken the crush card. That's and horrible. And everyone was like, I don't know where it went. You know, but then there's a lot of people in the Ego community. Um, oh, hello. What's in here? These cards. I, I put, oh, yeah, because um, yeah. this is to protect against yeah. the damage. Nice. I started doing that. Oh, my undone. God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's that Balter you were talking about. This is yeah. LOD. So I like how we're getting into the middle series. This is Battle City in its prime. Yeah, to be honest, Stuart, these cards are definitely worth grading, um, especially the Yadagarasu. If it's, if it's, you can yeah. see the collection and the quality of the collection and the Incredible. condition of the Incredible. collection. You know? I feel like by now it's... my energy is really low, but <laughs> I, I could, I, I, I'm giving this all my energy possible. Yeah, really good centering actually for these. Like oh, this is horrible. Buggers for centering, okay. absolutely awful for LO. Was it LOD? LOD. This set here. terrible. Worst set ever. The worst bottomless trap hole was good though. Mm. Happy to have that. Injection fairy lily. That looks beautiful. Let's just take her out quickly. Mm. PSA ten is yeah two grand fifteen hundred no. dollars. No, what for lily? Yeah. Why? Because it's an anime card and waifu. Are, waifu. Are you serious? Oh yeah, absolutely. She's like twelve. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, no, no, honestly, no, no, no. You no. just ruined so many people's dreams. Honestly, not good. <laughs> not yeah. good at all. It's cool. It's funny. Injection Fairy Lily is beautiful. I really do adore her. Yeah, let's get her in nice and slow. There you go. Last turn. Cover card of the artwork. Last turn was cool. Pharaonic Guardian. Cool. I've got good memories um, because uh, Pharaonic Guardian for me, memories from Pharaonic Guardian, is yes. when I started buying boosters, that was the set that was out. Mm. So oh, okay. it was like. 2000... All the other sets, I... Four? Yeah. And five, no, 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. 2003. So I was buying, like, when, when I first started buying boosters in the shops, the Pharaonic Garden set was out, and, and for, um, for all the rest of the stuff, I had to buy it on eBay. I had to buy booster boxes on eBay. And I remember okay. going, I'm, I'm spending, like, like 100 quid for a box. on a... On a, 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 on a uh, on a box of Legend of Blue Eyes first edition. That's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Speaking of waifus, uh, Dark Magician Girl first edition. Okay. Mm -hmm. PSA 10s have sold for $15,000 in the hype. Okay. Well, let's just check this one then. That is 
Very well centered. Good. Good. Very well centered. Again, looking like I'm gonna have to be careful here when I do this, but yeah, please uh, do. I'm gonna get her out. I'm gonna get her out. She's out. She's probably hasn't been out in what fifteen years? Uh, twenty. Twenty years. Hi. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I can see some damage. Oh no! I know. In the top left corner, it seems to be a little corner ding. A soft corner is what we call it. Which isn't going to affect the grade so much because she is flawless other than that. But that corner there, mm. you'll review this later when I, when yeah, I upload right, the video. Mm. That corner there. I think you're covering the lights, too. Mm. It's, my... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Just edit out my bald head. It's okay. There. There. Yeah. Oh, it's well. it's mint. It, this is a fantastic. This could get an eight, and in an eight, it's still worth grading for this yeah, card. Yeah. I'd say the lowest card this could get would be a seven. But if someone at PSA subjectively says that is a serious damage, then you're looking at a six. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but still, this is. I would classify this as near mint, mm -hmm. which is what you want. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky, you could get an eight or a nine. But I don't think with that damage, you could get a ten. But still, mm. beautiful. Cool. Beautiful. I'm interested to see if you have the Dark Paladin corrected artwork. Actually. No, I don't think I do. But you still have the... Uh... I don't know which one I have. I have a Dark Paladin. It's just, it's, it's it's, I get confused as to, um, you know, but then it must be the not the corrected one because that's the one you have to send away for. Correct. And I didn't right. send away for it, so that's where the band is. Where is Dark Paladin? It should be here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's coming up, yeah. Breaker is beautiful. Mm -hmm. PSA 10's a very low pop, so like 14 in the world, I think. Where on earth is your Dark Paladin? Should be in the end. Is he at the end? Yeah. What number is he? Really? One 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 four, really? Here he is, Dark Paladin, the ultimate magical swordsman. <laughs> uh very nice. Again, looks beautiful actually. It's it's unsleeved. Uh yeah. we'll probably want to put that in there. Yes. No, do the white one, I think, for this one. Dark Paladin, beautiful card. Yes. Two thousand dollars in a PSA ten. This looks like it could get a PSA ten. Check the back. Yes. Let's do it. This is a winner. This is a nice card. It's a shame that that magician girl isn't in the condition of the start power then. I, 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 you see, for me, they all look the same. You know, uh, you really got to have an eye for it. You really, yeah, absolutely. The and lighting, this, this the lighting why, as well. This is why it's very, uh, um, you know, it's good that you're here because, you know, we can we can talk about which ones to grade first. Moving on to Dark Crisis, we have Vampire Lord. Beautiful <laughs> card. PSA 10 again is a thousand plus dollars. Shinato, King of High Plane, very powerful in the anime. Mirage Knight can only stay in turn for one play, Joey, <laughs> says said Yugi in the anime. Uh, ne uh, Exodia Necros, the dark Exodia. I thought that was useless. Yeah, it is useless. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite useless, yeah. Skill Drain, Kaiser Glider, I pulled this in a pack back in the day, very beautiful. It's just incredible to see these completed sets, and mm. in fact, because the recording is, is quite long, I might even release part one and part two for this yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, well, you or, absolutely go for it. And, and this, just discuss, because this is the second era, as opposed to the blue eyes, and it's just, you know, Chaos Emperor Dragon, okie dokie. That's seen play, but I think That's it's... seen play, let's, let's, let's see I, how I was play very careful. I mean, I used to play um, with both of those cards. Oh, yes. But I was, this I, is the one that you used to play with. Mm. But I was I was really careful. I used to wouldn't I wouldn't let anyone else shuffle my deck. I would always cut it myself. Yeah, this is nice. This does look nice. Centering. Centering's nice. A little bit off left and right, but nowhere near bad. Beautiful man. No, it's it, it has a bit of waxing on, but that's normal for IOC. This could get a nine. <laughs> from what I can see, yeah. Played the card. I actually played with that quite often. I had a, a chaos deck, and uh, the thing you is, know, would you very careful. would you want the card that you've played with for so long in a slab? I don't. I don't really. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm would you be okay selling it? I'm. Yeah, I'm more sentimental about toys I grew up with mm. rather than cards yeah, because yeah, because true. when. See, with you, you probably weren't playing toys. You, your cards were your toys. Yeah, your some of them were a bit but more played. But for me, yeah. I was an adult then, and I didn't have the same emotional attachment to the cards as I do with this is the nice. 80s stuff over there. Mm. This is a really nice copy of Batbuster Soldier. That's really, really nice. Beautiful card. I like Dark Magician of Chaos. That's my favourite card. Oh, really? Yeah. The cover card, yeah. Yeah. It's coming up, isn't he? Yes. It's coming up. It's quite the end. 
Invasion of Chaos. Dark Mirror Force, the rubbish Mirror Force. Yes, rubbish. Here he is, Dark Mirror of Chaos. Uh, again, as a PSA 10, it's quite low population, so it is a very expensive card. Did you play with this one? No. Bit OC, uh, top to bottom, mm -hmm. but nothing that won't stop it getting a 9. Nines around, it used to be 800, probably now, probably like five, six hundred dollars as a nine, but still, you know, really, really valuable, really, really nice card. I could be talking rubbish as well, but I'm speaking just of what I've seen out there. What before. do you think, in terms of what you've seen today, how what, what the kind of value is raw? Raw of, of your entire collection yeah. that, that I've seen thus far? <laughs> well, 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 of everything that you know I've got, which is everything up to Gladiator. The value, the oh, I can't wait to see those. I know we haven't got much time, but no. um, I'm just kind of skimming through, you know, yeah, Layer of Darkness. And this is the last <laughs> set, End of Anubis. Ancient Sanctuary, go Giga Gaga Gigo! I love, I love Ancient cards. Sanctuary, again, a mem memorable set. Very, me. very powerful, both cards, Blowback and Zaborg. Zaborg was great. Zaborg was great. I love Zaborg. Enemy it controller. It felt good when you dropped Zaborg, it's like... And yeah. Popper Monster. It was one of the best, the better Monarchs. It was, yeah. It was the first. Oh, the no, it wasn't. Mobius yeah, it was, the was, was two second. traps, wasn't it? Traps, yeah, Spiral yeah. Traps. Very good. That was a pretty good one. That was the second Monarch. And Mazera Deville, casually unseen. That is... Not a European edition. It's, is it not? Uh, no. Uh, no, it's not. It's beautiful though. You see, because they dropped the EN and the yes. uh, North American, I just thought that after the dropping, when they dropped the E um, prefix, mm -hmm. all, um, that all Everything cards was the were same. identical. But they're not. No, they're not. They're not. You need to get into the nitty gritty, as I was saying. You need to look at the card stock, the corners, the coloration of the card, the, the pattern on, on the effect. The way the card shines under different lighting, it's 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 ridiculous. But uh, going back to your question, thus far, what have we seen? We're talking, okay, we're talking. Let's talk in raw value. If you were to sell it raw, at let's say eighty percent of last sold on eBay, which is kind of like if you're looking to sell something like this, you if something sold for a thousand, you probably sell it for eight hundred, just because it's, that's kind of like part of the deal of doing a bulk deal. Yeah. But um, okay, we're going into Strike of Neos now. I don't think this is the right order, but it's still fine. So far, what I've seen, yeah, we're talking 30,000, mm -hmm. I'd say 25,000. Mm -hmm. Raw, mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. Th pounds, dollars, what's that, 40, 50,000 dollars? Range, it's a very large yeah. range, but. Because, uh, yeah. you know, if, if I can get 50 grand for everything, then I would take that and pay off my mortgage. Mm -hmm. nice. I've got about. There I've it is, and yeah, the, the one that yeah. you pulled, that's. Um, yeah, seriously, though, um, I can put you in connection with people who would probably be interested in this, mm -hmm. so. Moving on, we have some beautiful secret rares. I love secret rares. These are very nice fairy secret rares from Strike of Neos. Insane. Missing one though. You're missing. Which one are you missing? Delinquent. No, you got Gel and Duo. I don't know which one you're missing actually. Force of the Breaker. About to open one of these boxes on my channel, Stuart, actually. A first edition European box. Tune in uh, maybe even tonight. What if I need one? <laughs> I'll tap you up. I think there's one missing, one card missing. I'm not sure. It's one of the secrets. Oh, secrets. Mm hmm. Diablos, King of the Abyss, maybe? Possibly. Ooh, two secrets missing. He's cool. Mm -hmm. Lich, the King of the Underworld. Mist Archfiend, Plague Warp. Yeah, you're missing Diablos and Volcanic Rocket. Okay. The two cards there. Oh, well, Volcanic missing. Rocket is the... the, the, the I the, have four. Oh, you have four? Oh, yeah. yeah. Four in, uh, unlimited, though. Mm -hmm. No, no, first edition. Just, uh, ooh, unlimited Venomonaga. You can see, uh, at this point in my collecting, it was starting to... I wasn't... As, as thorough, you weren't. I wasn't as committed. Here we go. The secret rares just whacked in the middle of the set. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of like just you know. Dark but they rares. are. I mean, I was still very fastidious with condition, and, and they really have you know led a very sheltered life. They have. Um, this is beautiful. Look at this, Abyss King Shark. See Euro and A. Can you see the color difference between those? Two? Tell me you can. Not to get my bumps in the way. Again. No, no, you're okay. Look at the difference in color. Look how light that is. And look how dark that is. Ah, so which one's which? This is Euro. You got to know. You got to mm. know. But this one's Euro. This one's an A. Uh -huh. That one's. So this one is it Euro or an A? Uh, Comparing that colors. That is an A. This is an A. That's an A. Correct. Yeah, correct. I've got that. Gemini Summoner. Uh, that is. Looks an A as well. Euro. Ah, is so it? close. It does look an A, but... Uh, it's the lighting. Oops. It's the lighting, perhaps, yeah. It's the lighting. That is assault. Okay, <laughs> let's go. This is where we will... The sad look. thing is, the secrets were so difficult to obtain. you got Chaos Neos, though. Yeah. That's beautiful. I pulled him from the, uh, the the single boosters that were kind of um, quite recently, a few years ago. I was quite pleased to get that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Stealth. Not not a, a major uh, a major. Do you have the misprint to Chaos Neos Ghost Rare? No. That's okay. Would have been cool to see that. I've got uh, no ghost rares anymore, which is a Ooh, shame. Oh, okay. So you've got Dragon Ice. Mm -hmm. a very 
Oh god, don't tell me that bends through the card. It might no, be. No, you're not, you're not. You're good, you're good. <laughs> Screech Tongue Twister Unlimited. Security Orb. Veil of Darkness. Gladiator Beast. Octavius has a few secrets missing. Good. Yeah, there is. Um, good, been put, yeah. Expensive card, Soul Taker. Mm. Uh, Phantom great Phantom cards. Darkness. I love this set. Phantom Darkness. I like that set. Beautiful. Set. I love this and Light of Destruction. There's only a couple of cards missing from Beautiful. Phantom Darkness. You've got Dark Arm Dragon. Yes. Yeah, oh, unlimited. But unlimited. Stars to it. <laughs> You're okay. I'm sorry. You I did my best 25 <laughs> years ago. It was expensive, that card back in the day, man. I know, it was yes. expensive. Yes, Teddy Dad and all that kind of thing. It was a ridiculous card. It was card. ridiculous. It was insane. <laughs> wow. Look at these. Incredible. How are we doing for time, Oscar? All good, all good. Dark Lord Zorato. Beautiful. Rubbish. <laughs> I like him, I like him. Dark Graffo was good, Dark Red Enchanter. Bylau, the Marquis of Darkness. So many secret rares in this set. Yeah. Time to move on to... Light of Destruction with Honest. The, one of the first hand traps. One of the very powerful hand traps. I actually run it in my Master Duel deck. Arcane of Forces, very strange cards. Guess which with card coins. Judgment Dragon. Yeah. No, really? No, I couldn't pull one. Eno26. It's the only one. Yeah. I pulled an Italian one when I was a child. It was, it was so powerful. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember Light Swarm being such a dominant. Um, I know. You know part of the insane. Matter. They were insane. This is, this is incredible, though. I can see some Ultimate Rares at the back here. Mm -hmm. Stu? Not many, um, but uh, a fair few. Um, oh, not okay. the major. Aaron Toilatine. Interesting. Guardian of Order, nice. Mm -hmm. Angel 07. Fog King, maximum six. What a, what a strange. Look, kind of looks like the whole. Yeah, yeah. Cool one. And here we go into some ultimate rares. Nice. We have Air Hummingbird, which is one I sold for ten pounds back when I got back into Yu Gi Oh, and now it's at like eighty. <laughs> yeah. So Grand Neos as well. That's <laughs> we've all got. I feel your pain. We've all got those stories. I know. You know, we all have those stories. It's just part of. But then, if you didn't have those stories, you wouldn't appreciate the wins. At least we still the... got cards. I yeah, mean, that's the thing. True, I mean, there's plenty. True, of, true, true. You feel what who you truly feel sorry for is the uh, is the, the the collector that started selling them when they started picking up to like you know ten yeah. pound a card, mm. and most people were like, oh, they're worth something. I'll sell them, and then suddenly the market exploded. Just, and, just when... Look at this. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, beautiful. It's just they don't make cards like this anymore. They just don't. They just don't. It's insane. Dark World Dealings is an expensive card. There's new support coming out for Dark Worlds very soon. Definitely like Token Dagger. I might... Token Dagger, yeah. yeah just, just the artwork. I love that one. Beautiful. Force of the Breaker. Oh, Harpy Queen. Hello. Is that a money card? Money card, yeah. Again. Oh. Waifu. Why? Waifu. <laughs> Waifu. Oh, it's not. Is that it? It is. Because it is. It's, 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 if you see a card you don't know why, check the artwork. Yeah, exactly. Jesus, where, what's wrong with people? Like, it's, a <laughs> it's the nostalgia factor, like the meta, and then the card. So, so right. in, in regards it's to these free. completed sets, what are your, again, you're more thinking of selling it as a, would you sell the whole of GX? Or I, whole I, of... Just, I just don't know. I don't know. I mean, I could sell... Singles. Sets. I could sell singles. singles. I'm 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 all about maximising my money because I want yeah, to have a mortgage of course, off. So yeah. I'm assuming that I'm going to be selling singles. Um, the question is is you do know, I grade? Do I grade? Yeah. Um, I think with these cards, the answer is no. You want to grade? I'd say a maximum of 25, 50 cards because it's going to. It will cost it you. It will cost a tremendous amount. Because you need to send them in the highest bracket of card because they are ex otherwise. If you if you send this card, the morphing jar in a ten, yeah, the, cheap, the, cheap, the cheapest or, is thirty dollars. Yeah. It won't get lost. It will get you'll get upcharged and it'll just take longer and you'll get charged a thousand dollars because it's in the incorrect. You need to pay three hundred dollars per card to grade the high end cards now, or at least two hundred for certain ones. You need just to for someone's subjective opinion, which might go against you anyway. It's insane. <laughs> Although ultimately, it will I'd love that job. I mean, you could look. You could do. <laughs> you could do I that feel job. like I could. Yeah, you could do that job. I, I, I probably could job? because, because they're I can not in the UK. You a tenner, we can get everything. Yeah, to tenner, yes. and we're in business. Do you know what people used to do that? I know. And someone online, I think it was, I don't know who, I don't want to name shame anyone, but someone said, if you slip in a $20 note in your submission, then I felt like you're more likely to give you nines and tens. What, to PSA? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard That'd stories. That's crazy. Although, more... with this, I would like to sell it with the card. Yeah, of course. Which of course, means course. someone's going to have some deep pockets. Yes, <laughs> very much. If that was sealed, it'd be worth a lot more. But, guys. I opened it. 
you did open it for the cars. And my friend um, uh, at the time, um, he we we uh, played quite regularly together. His mm. name was Mike Mike Wanless, and he was around my house. And I was like, "Look, what's mm. just come for me, Ben Mike?" And he was like, "Oh, that's a really nice set. Don't open it." And I was like, "Oh, but you know, I'm displaying all my cards in the binders." He's like, "Don't open it, you fool! What are you doing?" Really? And I bought. Do you know how much I bought that for? I'm going to guess hundred dollars. About seventy five quid. So, yeah. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. In two thousand and seven 2008 wow. and i opened it and he was like you fool because <laughs> yes. that's gonna be worth so much money sealed is, i think these are like four thousand five thousand dollars now yeah. sealed yeah but i mean the cards so are, nice to have those oh, yeah, display, yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. And, it, and it's not been used and it's been it's basically i don't have a game boys this is really nice as well starter deck kyber it's european. a shame it's european um i think it's probably worth a couple of hundred quid oh yeah for sure for sure obviously if it would have been a couple of Obviously, thousands, thousands if it was, if it was yeah. an American one. Yeah. Still, definitely. This is completely sealed. It's stupid, isn't it? It just looks a bit it's dusty. One huh? letter. <laughs> it is. Oh, it is. It's It's just, you know. Again, well loved. Well loved. I, I, I suppose it's the. It has been kind of. It's not perfect. No, it's still You just nice. don't find it's them so nice. sealed. No. It's anymore. punched. It's punched, which obviously doesn't help. But no. Uh, it's still. It's still I was thinking maybe. Sealed. What do you think? Splitting it, op opening it, and grading, grading the cards inside. Maybe that would be the. It what? depends. It does depend with these sort of things, man. People who like sealed collections yeah. like sealed. The European graded, yeah, there's a less market. There's not much market for European graded cards. Stupid, really, isn't it? I mean, I it's just, 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 just... There we go, guys. Starter deck Kyber, first edition Euro, as well as loads of other stuff that we picked up. Absolutely insane. It's a really good day. Really, really good fun. Really enjoyed it. Stuart was an absolutely genuine and amazing person, and I'm very happy that. We, are, we were able to show off his collection. And of course, if anyone is interested, please hit him up on Instagram, Stuart.Morrison. I'll link his uh, Instagram below. Thanks for tuning into this kind of vlog video, guys. Stay safe when collecting. Keep it casual. Ciao for now.